I'm going to say something bold here, but this boat behind me could just be my favourite boat under 30 feet that I've looked at this entire year. This is the Rand 25. I love this boat so much because it gives me sporty, cool, retro vibes. And I think underpinned by all of that is some really, really smart technology and design. I think you're going to love this boat just as much as I do. Let's go take a look. Okay, let's talk about engine choices with this Rand 25. Now, if I use all my muscles and lift up the rear seat here, you can see that this particular model that we're reviewing is powered by a 6.2 litre 300 horsepower Mercruiser. Now there are a variety of engine options. There's also a 350, there's also a 250 in the Mercruiser. There's also a, a diesel uh, engine option and there's also an electric uh, motor option uh, if you want to go down that path. Now the electric um, will give you around 7 to 8 uh, running hours. Uh, and the inboard and the outboard options will kick the 25 along at around about 40 knots, 42 knots, probably its top speed. Now the Rand 25 is essentially, it's a day boat. You know, it's about getting six or seven of your friends and family together and having a great time. So let's talk about the day boat features. And let's start at the back here with this sun lounge, which is really large, stretches almost the entire width of the two and a half meter beam of this boat. And this will comfortably take three people. And what a great place to sit out here uh, near the rear of the boat, look out over the water as you're underway. Uh, but if we move forward, one of the things which I think are, you know, so clever about boat designs and this Rand in particular is the way that you can reconfigure and, and reuse the space for different purposes. And by simply moving that, uh, rear cushion aside you've now converted that rear lounge into still a, a rear lounge but also seating for three people to take advantage of this fantastic arrangement here i mean who wouldn't want to be sitting here taking in the water ample space here for your food you know cup holders in the open air i mean this is just a fantastic place to sit and as we've done with the rear bench we can do the same thing here with the helm seat by moving that across now we've got seating for six people no point being out on the water if you can't listen to some cool music uh, we've got the fusion stereo system um, tucked under here uh, an example of the speakers now Rand have fitted these boats with Bang & Olufsen speakers now if anyone knows anything about stereo Bang & Olufsen I mean, these are not your normal speakers. This is top end stuff. Absolutely fantastic. There's also USB charger there. Plenty of cup holders. And have a look at this. Sit here, look back at my friends, look back at the water and feeling like an absolute boss. Uh, if we spin around a little bit more, we can see that underneath uh, this bench, there's some storage. So there's space here for you to you know, pop some cushions or, you know, you might have some extra clothing that you might want to store away. And we can do that. And if I move this rear seat forward, you'll notice that tucked under the dash is a fridge. So this is really equipped for a great day out on the water. That fridge is big enough, that Dometic fridge to take, you know, your drinks for the day. You could easily you know store some food in there but one of the things that i really love about this boat as i said at the start is this retro sporty vibe that you get i'm just going to lower myself down a bit here so you can get a sense of this look at that windscreen i mean that is absolutely italian sports car inspired absolute cool vibes and that's carried through to the helm position i'm gonna pop my seat myself here so you can take all of this in We've got this really cool sporty steering wheel here, quite minimalist in its design. This cool windscreen and all of the controls that you want to see are catered here by these two uh, Simrad uh, displays. Ample for a boat of, of this size. Uh, in terms of controlling the boat itself, we've got the engine controls here. Now this boat does have uh, a bow thruster, so um, you know if you're relatively inexperienced or you know you just want 
to make it easy getting people on and off uh, a dock at the marina for example then that's going to be very very useful for you uh, to do that of course all of the light controls and various things here but look I, I what I really love about this, it's just, it's this kind of cool Scandinavian minimalist design. It's kind of sporty. I just love the way that they've pulled this together, as well as, you know, some of these uh, little design features that to me, just fantastic. I mean, look at the way they kind of bring the, the decking in here. It's kind of wraps around the windscreen. Just cool, really cool. Um, as we move forward, you might have noticed in the background uh, another boat that looks suspiciously familiar and of course that is the big sister uh, to the RAND 25 which is the RAND 28 Leisure. Uh, we've done a review of this boat which I'll put the, uh, a link to that uh, right here. Uh, and I should mention actually there's eight different choices in the RAND range from uh, a 20 foot uh, RAND all the way up uh, to a 30 foot. So plenty of options if you need or want uh, a little bit less something trailable or a little bit larger, something with uh, a day berth, uh, you might choose a 28 or 30 foot. So let's move forward and just have a look at what's at the front of this RAN 25. Now this is still a very usable space. Ah, you could very comfortably come up here. Actually, let's just spin back around and have a look at this. Isn't that cool? Look at those lines. Awesome boat. Um, but up here, um, you could come up here and, uh, and sit with uh, two or one or two people, be very, very comfortable up here. You know, you might choose to get some, some cushions made up here, uh, entirely up to you. But up here, of course, we have uh, the anchor, we have the anchor locker. Of course, you can see there, there's a, actually a remote control for this. So talk about convenience. So you can come up here, pull up, and uh, lower raise the anchor using this remote control. So that's a very, very convenient feature to have at your disposal as I struggle. <laughs> now a couple of the other things I just want to touch on quickly are the materials. Um, now RAND choose some eco-friendly sustainable materials for their uh, seat covers and cushion covers. This beautiful upholstery which feels fantastic like a leather beautiful material and their teak uh, they've found a way to uh, source sustainably harvested teak which is uh, which is great as well um, and one thing which is less obvious which adds up to uh, the performance of this boat is the weight now rand have very cleverly used uh, recycled plastics uh, in the construction within the hull and not only does that reduce the overall amount of materials that are required to make their boats which is great but it also reduces the overall weight of the boat. Okay, so that's the RAND 25 Spirit. Look, I, I hope you agree with me. This is just a very, very cool, sporty little boat. Um, you know, if you're into this kind of thing, if this is up your alley, come down to the E-Yachts showroom. I'll put all of those details uh, in uh, the description, uh, how to find them online, uh, how to find them uh, here uh, in Warrywood in Sydney. So thank you again for the invitation from from me yachts uh, and if you like the video please give it a like uh, it encourages me to keep coming out uh, and doing these videos which I love doing anyway uh, and if you like these types of uh, walkthrough videos I do one of these every single week find really cool different boats to uh, to take you through so subscribe to the channel uh, and you won't miss out if you hit that notification bell as well but I think that wraps it up. That's the RAND 25. Hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, share it with someone who likes boating if you, if you feel like it. And uh, I'll see you next week on the next one.